Today we'll look how to put images and text on moving walls in DaVinci Resolve. I'm on the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20, but this process should work with any version of DaVinci from the last few years. I've created this project in DaVinci Resolve and I'm on the edit page. Let's add a film clip to my timeline here. I'll click and drag this down. And you can see if I play through, we have this castle. Let's say I want to put an image on one side of the tower here. And then after we'll put text on the other side. To start, what I'll do is select my clip. Then we'll go to the Fusion tab here. So I'll press Fusion. Now, whenever we want to do something like track an object, in this case, a wall, there's usually two steps. First, we want to create the tracking data. Then we want to attach that data to an object, like an image or text. So let's start by generating the data. I'll press Shift Space here. And I'm going to type Planar Tracker. This is the node I want. So I'll select it. And I'll press Add. Now, it got added between my input and output nodes. If that didn't happen for you, if it's somewhere out here, just click and drag it, hold shift, and move your cursor over this line in between. When it turns yellow, you can let go, and it'll be attached between there. So currently, this didn't do anything. But let's open up the Inspector tab here. So if you don't see Inspector, just press Inspector there. Make sure you have the Planar Tracker selected. I have the Operation Mode set to Track, which it should be by default. And for the Tracker type, instead of Point, I want to say Hybrid Point Area. So I'll select this. And what I'll do is I'll drag my video to the middle here, maybe right about there. And I'm going to press set. So I'll press set. I'm going to click an area on the part I want to track. So let's make an area here. It doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. So I'll do that. So we've set this position in the middle of our video. Let's track it to the end. So I'll press this button here, track to end. And it's going to start making those data points. It'll take about 20 seconds or so. So we're just creating the data for the second half of our video. And now it's done. So we can see all these white lines. That's the tracking data for the second half. Now I'm going to press go, and that's going to go back to the position we set earlier, the middle of our video. So let's press go. And then we're back at this point. Now I'm going to track to the beginning. So I'm going to press this button here, track to start, and we'll track to the beginning. A common mistake is not to go back to where you set your tracking before. So make sure you do that if you get an error. So now we have all our tracking data here. Let's bring in our image. I'll expand the media pool. And I have this DaVinci logo here. I'll click and drag it onto the canvas right there. Then I'll close the media pool to give us some space. Now what I'll do is I'll take the output of this media in, our image, and I'll drag it to the planar tracker. So I'll let go, and we still don't see anything. This is because we need to change the mode of the planar tracker. Now we need to tell it to use the data. So with the planar tracker selected, go back to your inspector tab here. And now I'm going to change the operation mode to corner pin. And what happens is we get this shape here. Now, by default, it's not that useful, but we can click and position it where we want it to be. So let's drag it over here. I'll hold control and scroll wheel to zoom in a little bit. Usually you want to follow the lines of the structure to help give you some guidance there. But sometimes you just have to eyeball it and see what looks good. I think there's a good start. We can easily change it later. And now if I play the video, you'll see the image attached to the wall. And this will also happen if we go back to the edit page and play through there. So there's the image. Let's go back to the Fusion page. If you want slightly more realistic effects, you can go to the Planar Tracker, and you can change the blend mode of your image. So you can do Multiply. That will look different. You can go to Settings. You can change Opacity. Maybe make it a little transparent. There's all sorts of ways you can composite it in better. So here we have it with those settings changed. Let's add text to this wall here. We'll do it the same way we did with the image. First, let's add a Planar Tracker. I'll press Shift Space, and I'll click Add for Planar Tracker. It's kind of floating in the middle here, so I'll click and drag it. And holding shift, I'll put it in the middle there. Now I'm in the middle of my video. For the tracker, I'm going to click down here. And I'll do hybrid point area again. Let's click and drag the area. I'll make a rectangle here. I'll close it. Then I'll press set. And I'll track to the end by clicking this arrow. So I'll press track to end. And it's calculating the data. Now that it's done that second half, let's press go. This brings us back to the position we set before, and I'll track to the start. So I'll press this arrow here, track to start. And the reason we track out from the middle like this is it can just help prevent drift. It depends on the type of video you're doing. Sometimes it works better tracking out from the middle. Other times I've had better luck starting from the beginning and just going to the end. It just really depends on what happens in your video. So try both ways. And the beginning is finished. So I'll press go again. Now let's add our text. We can do this with a text plus node here. So I'll click and drag it onto the canvas. Over in the text box here, I'll type HQ. That'll be our text. Then I'll drag the output of the text to our new planar tracker. Now currently you're not seeing anything because once again, we have to go to the planar tracker and change the mode. So for operation mode, I'll say corner pin. 
and we can position the area like so. Now by default, text is very small, so you can click the text node here, and you can adjust the size, so I'll drag the size up. And the slider only goes to a maximum of 0.5, but you can actually type in larger values. So I'll type in 0.7, and it works. Let's clean up that area a little bit here. Let's just make it so it looks somewhat decent. I also think I want to adjust the transparency a little bit. So on the planar tracker, I'll go to settings. Let's just make it a little bit less opaque. And here we have our final result. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, check out my free crash course video right here on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.